Oh my goodness, I've been so jazzed to be able to do this video for you. There are 20 of my favorite new skincare in 2023. This is the skincare that knocked my socks off and you know I try hundreds. So getting it down to 20 was really kind of a feat for me. So sit back and relax and we are gonna go through all this. But remember that we do have a number system where a number will come up on the screen that corresponds to the product that I'm holding up and talking about. All you have to do is remember the number, go down into the description box, open that up next to the number will be that product with my affiliate link and any, any other information that you might need to know about that specific product. All right, let's get started because I can't wait to show you all of these really great things that I found for the year. Let's start off with the way that it goes onto your skin or how we do our skincare. Now, 20 things, yeah, that's a lot, okay, I get it but this is my job this is what i found this year that i'm so in love with there is only one thing in here that came from previous years and i put it in here because i feel like it's so important to have this specific one thing in here and i'll show you that in just one second but let's start off with taking your makeup off this is the juno skin cleansing balm i love this one because there is not one thing i'm almost done with this one i need a new one there is not one stitch of makeup that does not come off with this cleansing balm. It just is like lickety split, it's gone. And I love a cleansing balm because of that. I love the fragrance of this one. It's really kind of a light citrusy, not overbearing at all, but yes, if you're wondering, it does have a fragrance in it. But I really enjoy this one because it does such a quick job of taking my makeup off. So Juno cleansing balm. The next one would be to take off that cleansing balm or make sure our skin is completely clean for the next steps or the next serums. And this one is from Beauty by Joseon. And I don't know whether it's Joseon or Joseon. So I'm sure one of you will tell me that. This one is just basically the cleanser. And so you're taking off anything that's left from the makeup or from the cleansing balm. All the oil is going to come off so that our skin is que squeaky clean and we can go on to the next thing. I use this in the morning as well as in the evening if we're taking off the cleansing balm. Next would be our serums. And oh my goodness, did I discover some of the most fantastic serums this year. Let's talk about the Benton Deep Green Toner. Green tea green tea toner, excuse me, green tea is so good for being able to boost the efficiency of any red light therapy that we use. So it's something like 20 times or 40 times the efficacy of that red light therapy. Red light therapy is something that builds collagen, rejuvenates our skin, makes us look younger, gets rid of our wrinkles, all the yummy things we want from a skincare device, but this makes it even better. So you put this on clean, dry skin, and you let it sink in for, I usually go anywhere from 10 to 20 minutes. Then you don't need to take it off because green tea has all kinds of great benefits as well. You don't need to take it off. It's already sunk all in after you've done your red light therapy. And yeah, this is one that I was so glad to find that. Now let's switch over to kind of exfoliating our skin. This is from Sewn By Me. This is an AHA, BHA, PHA 30 Days Miracle Toner. This makes your skin so smooth and soft without irritation. Now, as I get older in menopause, my skin seems to be a little bit more sensitive. So I have to use some that are really gentle on the, these exfoliants because if I don't, my skin's gonna be angry with me and I'm gonna be like trying to calm it down. But this one is so gentle that I can use it every other day if I want to. If I wanna try and use it, you know, three days in a row, I can do that but it's really gentle and it does the trick and my skin is so darn soft. I love this one. Another one that is also an exfoliant that I just absolutely love. And the reason is, is because, let me tell you first, this is Dermatology's Pumpkin Enzyme Mask. If you guys haven't tried this, what are you waiting for? Seriously, first of all, I'm still, I've had this for like probably three or four weeks and I'm still working on what came off on the lid. This is a very hydrating mask. I mean, it's thick, it is luxurious, it's yummy. It's got these microspheres in it that aren't harsh exfoliants, but they burst apart and then they deliver even more hydration to your skin. You can feel that it has that little bit of a rough texture in it, but my skin, like I said, it's a little bit sensitive. It has not irritated my skin at all. The hydrating benefits of this, 
you take this off after uh, however long you want to use it. I usually use it for the whole entire time that I'm in the tub. It's just slathered all over my face and my skin is so moisturized and feels absolutely lovely. I don't know where this thing has been, but I have been missing out in not getting this. So the pumpkin enzyme mask from Dermatology is a big old fat yay for me. I'm really enjoying it. Another one that I'm really enjoying are the, I'm going to murder this, P, okay, Pyung Kang Yule. These are the black tea eye masks. These are really great for depuffing, for dark circles, for hydrating. I have just been in love with these. I've got like four in my fingers right here. They're hard to get apart. These are super juicy, which I love about having any sort of an under eye patch. I, that's where I get all of my biggest signs of aging is right underneath my eyes with all the wrinkles and the crinkles. So these are some that I have been loving. I'll put these on right after I get up in the morning and then after, you know, 20 minutes or so, I'll go ahead and I'll do the rest of my skincare. And I really do love how my, my under eyes look after using these. They're plumped, they're refreshed, and I love that it does have the tea in it, that the caffeine helps depuff anything that's underneath my eyes as well. These have been also a bestseller that you guys have loved this year as well. Remember I said there was only one repeat customer in here? That is from Xlash. No, it's not Xlax. It's Xlash. And this is my eyelash growth serum. I have tried so many. I've tried Grande Lash, Revital Lash. I've tried the one that is the prescription. I love this one. It just is one that mixes the new technology with natural ingredients and peptides and all the good stuff. And I've been, was sent this when I first started my channel like eight years ago and I've repurchased it a million times on my own because I love it that much. This is a huge tube of it. And this big tube will last me anywhere from six to nine months. You only have to use it once a day. It says, this is the one that gets my stamp of approval. And any of you ladies that have been with me any amount of time and you've tried this, let everybody know down in the comments section what you think about this and whether it helped you or not. I'm sure there are a few that it didn't, but the vast majority of you that has come back and said, oh my goodness, it just works and I will never be without it. It's that good. All right, let's talk about one more exfoliating. I should have talked about that before I went away from exfoliating there. But again, this is from Beauty by Joseon. This one right here is an actual physical exfoliant, not a chemical exfoliant. Apricot Blossom Peeling Gel. Okay, first of all, it doesn't make your skin peel. That's not what you're getting from it. The grain in there or the, the texture that you feel in there is actually cellulose. So it's the ap apricot peel and you will feel it. You'll know what I'm talking about when you get it. It's, it's just a really gentle exfoliation, physical exfoliation. It is not like the apricot peel that we got from St. Ives years ago that used to rip your skin off. It's nothing like that. It's so, so gentle. You'll know what I'm talking about after you feel it. It's really special. I love these kind of exfoliants because they're just so gentle on the skin and they don't feel make your skin feel like it's been stripped afterwards. You just have really beautiful skin that is showing that new pretty skin through. This year, another company that kind of stole my heart besides Beauty of Joseon, which I love. I do have another Beauty of Joseon in here. I'll just talk about that really quick. This one is the Ginseng Toner. I cannot believe how nice this toner is for softening my face. So the softening of my fine lines, my wrinkles, that kind of thing, especially on my neck. If my neck is even the least bit irritated and I put anything on there, it seems to just really make it red and inflamed. This is not like that. It is just so gentle and so lovely. And yet at the same time, I know that I'm getting those great benefits of ginseng. Ginseng is a rejuvenation root. It does help with that great energizing of our skin, making it look brighter and awake. And I, I love this. This is one that I will continue to repurchase over and over again and was so blown away with how great it was this year. Deuterium. I just discovered this this year. I know where the crap have I been? Who knows? Under a rock. But I have found so many products from them. The Vitamin C Super Serum, I think that was probably the one that I was most impressed with. It has vitamin C in it, but it also has retinol, hyaluronic acid, niacinamide, and salicylic acid. Now, all of those you would think, you know, acids might be a little bit too much and you might get a little bit of irritation, but they've done it in such a way that it's balanced so well to be able to really be gentle on the skin. So this is on 
so this is my vitamin c every single morning this is the big extra mac daddy size i just got this one i had the smaller one that i tried and then i fell in love with this one and so yeah i just went and got the big one and then also i love their multi-bright tranexamic acid treatment this one is five percent tranexamic acid plus encapsulated kojic acid and alpha arbutin now all of those are super brightening elements i don't know what's happened to me but lately this area right here has just gotten some major redness in it and then across my chest that's been a long time but this is really helping to fade dark spots this is a really good one too and i actually did just go get the big one of this as well because i just loved how great this one worked for me the other one that i showed actually fairly recently i think i showed this one maybe in october maybe in september this is their vitamin k liposome serum three percent it has vitamin f and alpha oh i can't even say that one visible anyway this vitamin k has been so good for helping me with my dark circles again this is for darkness but especially around your eyes i've really been noticing a huge difference i really you know pat that into my eye area after i'm done using some eye serum that i'll show you in just a second but this is so good about getting rid of those dark circles most of my dark circles are inherited but i know that some of them are from allergies and other things like that so this is just really good if you're tired you got dark circles this one will definitely help you love that one so much and then lastly is the retinaldehyde from naturium this one is the 0.10% which I think is so good. Advanced gel serum emulsion that visibly combats fine lines, uneven tone and texture. Microsphere delivered retinol plus biofermented, oh, I can't even say that, Ol Olig oligopeptide? Not sure what that one is. But anyway, peptides are good because they are the building blocks of collagen in our skin. This one is pretty much the highest concentration of retinaldehyde that you can get on the market. And I am somebody that can't use the trentanoin or the retin-a prescription have been able to use it for a couple of years this one has made my skin not miss a beat i mean i wish i could use that one the one that everybody wants to be able to use is that prescription because it's going to turn your skin over faster than anything else but i feel like i'm not missing out because of this one i have absolutely loved it this is the end of my second tube. I have two more tubes in the waiting because I love this one so much. And then the only eye cream that I absolutely love and will recommend to you wholeheartedly. This is from Term Dermatology and it is their medical grade skincare HPR eye cream. Um, I can't say this one either. Hydroxy Pica Pin <laughs> Hydroxy Pinacolone Ha Retinoate and sorry about my voice um this is, says it improves and prevents signs of aging around the eyes this is your retinol that you can use around your eyes and it, yet it's so gentle this is a super duper light cream i'll show you how much i use of it i don't even really use a pea size amount i use maybe a half a pea size amount it goes all the way around my eyes both eyes so i will pat it in between there and go all the way around it is so good. I'm not going to even waste that because I know how good it is. I'm going to put it on the back of my hands. It's just so lovely. This is my second one and I bought a backup of, of this as well because I feel like this has turned this eye area around. Earlier this year, I was noticing some major problems with my eyes because I'd been through surgery and I was just exhausted and I felt like the skincare that I was using wasn't working. And then they came out with this and within a few months, this has only been out a few months and within a few months and by the way none of this was sent to me i don't think any of this was sent to me i'm looking around trying to figure it out nope none of this was sent to me i bought all of this skincare on my own so you that you know that this one from though from dermatology knocked my socks off i know that everybody says you don't need an eye cream and truly you don't but for me because my eyes get so irritated the gentle retinoic acid in this oh my goodness that i can use the retinol around my eyes makes me so happy and i love this so much another thing that we all need to be thinking about putting into our skincare routine is copper peptides but those suckers are expensive they really truly are very expensive i do have some more expensive ones but i wanted to share this one this is a new bottle that i just opened because my last bottle is gone this one i wanted to share because of its affordability and yet it's still so highly effective from derma e this is the ultra lift with dmae concentrated serum with cocker cocker ooh, copper peptides resveratrol 
and cockadoo plum. That's where that cock came from. Um, titans and tones. Copper peptides are the gold standard for peptides, okay? They elevate the peptides to where they actually just really penetrate your skin. They go down in there deeply. And amino acids are the building blocks of peptides. Peptides are the building blocks of collagen. Collagen is what makes our skin super plump and just look more youthful all the time. So we wanna have something like this on our off days from retinol. I use this every single day. I use my retinol every single day because it's that gentle. I use the eye cream every single day because it's that gentle and I can use this. So I use this in the morning and then I use the retinol at night and I'm telling you, it they're game changers for your skin. They really truly are. Love them so much. Two of COSRX products I'm gonna talk about. First of all, again, peptides. This is the six peptide skin booster. Everybody talks about the snail mucin from um, COSRX and I just barely talked about this in my monthly favorites, but this has a hyaluronic acid, NAG and amino acids, even skin tone hydrates, firmness and smooths, pore and sebum care and improves skin texture. Oh my word. This is so good for helping, again, give those peptides. We want to use as many peptides as we can so that it can change the composition of our skin as we get older, we get laxity in our skin. But it's so good to have these toners or these essences that really fight that. And when you have an essence and you put it on, it is going to sink into the skin and you can just pile essences on. I am the lady with the essence. I love using a ton of essence. And no, you don't have to have all of these, but I'm telling you that if you want your skin to change, you need to have retinol and you need to have a copper peptide or peptides like this in it. And I love this one. Also talks about sebum care. Sebum gets down into our pores. It's the dirt and the dead skin and the pollutants that we have. And it can make our, our pores stretch out. You want to get all of that pollution and dirt out of your skin so that your pores look more refined. I've had several people ask me, what's going on with your skin? Why does your skin look, you know, poreless? It's because I use some sort of a pore control that has the ability to sweep out all the dead skin cells and all of the dirt out of my pores and it's made them look so much more refined. Also from COSRX, now this one does have the snail mucin on one side and then the niacinamide on the other side. Whoa, guys, this is so good. Snail mucin does work on our skin's elasticity. So if you have laxity in your skin, you're getting jowls, you're getting a lax neck, all of that, you want to have snail mucin because it will begin to tighten up your skin. I've noticed such a big difference since I started using this. And a little bit goes a long way. It's a two barrel pump, so you're pumping them together, but they don't get mixed in there and degrade the product. They're just going onto your skin and doing their magic, working their magic. So on the other side, you have the niacinamide serum, which is so good. So let me read to you what's in this one. Formulated with triple snail complex and niacinamide. So this is gonna boost the radiance of your skin with that niacinamide. Niacinamide is such a good product. It plays well with everything. It is one of those ones, again, sweeps out our pores, helps our skin to look brighter and more youthful. This one has been an absolute must for me, loving it. Okay, let's just talk about the SPF because I grabbed it. This one is the SPF from Haru Haru. And I saw this on TikTok and everybody after that told me that Angie Hot and Flashy had talked about it. Well, no wonder it's on TikTok, right? Angie is um, one of our OG uh, people here on YouTube that everybody goes to for great skincare and she really is right about this one I know that they have one that is all mineral. This one is a hybrid So it's mineral and physical sunscreen and it's 50 plus this one is made from black rice It says moisture airlift daily sunscreen again. I apologize. My voice is going but what I love about this is how absolute light and airy it is and I have just been so impressed with how this sits underneath my makeup I could not be happier with how this is as far as being so light and so easy to wear this is not an extra layer this just sinks in very very quickly so yay for this I just think it's just so good now I also want to tell you that I probably found the best castor oil on the market this one is in a glass bottle, in an amber bottle, a dark bottle. That's how you keep your oils from not going rancid or degrading. This is a cold pressed organic 
hexane free, all the bad junkies. This doesn't have it in there. What castor oil has done for me this year, it has made my skin so soft and supple. I feel like it's completely done a turnaround. It says extremely therapeutic grade, cold pressed, unrefined organic. And this is such a good oil. I cannot tell you how much more I like this. You know, the other castor oil that I had, had this really strong, awful smell. And castor oil does have a smell to it, but you can tell when it's not a really good smell and when it's just kind of a vitamin-y smell, that's what this one is. I love this. I use it almost every night. I'll just put this on after my last moisturizer. And you know, you don't have to slather in it. I also had somebody tell me to try it on my portal vein, which is a whole other thing. But basically, um, you know, I do have that, that blockage or that blood clot in my portal vein that my video talked about. And I really have been trying a lot of holistic things to be able to help that. And castor oil has been used for centuries as a very therapeutic oil for all kinds of things, cuts. It'll put a woman into labor. It'll help with constipation if, if it gets taken internally. I don't take it internally, but and you're gonna think this is so weird, but this is what I devised. So I take a panty liner and I will dump some castor oil on there because it's absorbent, right? But it's still at the surface a little bit. And then I'll put it over my liver where the portal vein is. And then I wrap myself in an ace bandage and I wear that all night long. And I do notice on the days that I don't do that, that I have more pain than I do the next day. And I am suffering with a lot of pain, but this alleviates at least 50% of it. And the amount of pain that I was in, I can't even describe to you how horrible that pain was, but this really truly did help with the, does help with that pain. And I will find myself reaching for it even as a hand cream when my hands, the arthritis in my hands are getting to me. So overall, this has just been really great. The other oil that has really impressed me is this pumpkin seed oil. Again, the bottle is glass and it is the amber dark color, so it's not going to degrade. But I've been using this on my skin, on my cuticles, on the back of my hands. I've been using this um, when I go to bed at night. I will massage this into my hairline and at back as far as I can without getting my hair too matted and greasy. But this is so, so good for growth, overturn of your skin. Again, building collagen in your skin. And also just the hair follicles love it. It's like food for the hair follicles. And this has been helping my hair grow so much. Just a few months ago, my hair was like bobbed, really quite short. And I feel like my hair is just getting so healthy. And I am so excited where my hair is headed. But I had to make sure this made it into this video because honestly, these two oils, between the two of them, I'm just in love with skincare oils. And I will tell you that the castor oil is really heavy and thick compared to the pumpkin seed oil. This one's pretty light comparatively. But if you're used to like the marula oil from Drunk Elephant or Sunday Riley, that kind of thing. Those are very, very light oils. These are both a little bit heavier. Castor oil is really heavy. You're gonna feel a sticky face. And I want you to realize that before you go into it because a lot of people are like, oh my gosh, what have I gotten into? But it is, it's so full of vitamins. Pumpkin seed oil, same thing. So full of vitamins that your skin will love you for it. So that's the 20th product in my 20 for 2023 of the very best skincare that I found and that I'm using over and over again. These are permanent. These all are permanent in my skincare routine now. Yes, I still love what I loved in the past, but each year I find things that I love so much and I have to bring them to you and show them to you. And skincare is worth getting excited over. I will pay the money for skincare long before I will go after some makeup product that I'm not going to be using every day because I do use my skincare every day, whether or not I put makeup on. So I hope that you did enjoy that too. Is there something in 2023 that you found that you absolutely love and cannot be without? I would love to hear about it because you know, I might need to go out and buy it immediately and try it for myself. I hope that you're all doing really well. Sound off down below and what you think about these products. If you have any of them, if you've tried any of them, let me know that too. You guys, you're the best. 2024 hopefully will be fantastic for all of us. And fingers crossed anyway. And I hope that you're doing really well right now. Take care of yourselves and come and see me really soon in my next video. Goodbye, my friends.